This is an ultrasound examination of the right upper extremity and jugular vein for a patient who has a failed pick line. This is a longitudinal image of the right jugular vein and it appears normal. Color Doppler demonstrates that the lumen of this vein fills from wall to wall with flowing blood indicating the absence of DVT. This is a transverse image of the right uh, jugular vein and uh, carotid artery and uh, there is filling from wall to wall in the, uh, in the jugular vein. This Doppler signal appears very unusual but this is the typical appearance of a normal jugular vein Doppler signal. This image demonstrates the presence of a pick line within the proximal portion of the subclavian vein. We have some shadowing here from uh, the uh, probably the clavicle. This demonstrates flow uh, goes from nearly from lumen to lumen. A rather high PRF is being used which may eliminate the slow flow near the vessel wall. The pick line is centered within the subclavian lumen. This demonstrates a normal pulse Doppler pattern for the uh, subclavian vein. We see uh, a uh, to and fro pattern. These little reverse portions of the Doppler signal are due to the atrial kick. The atrial kick is lost very quickly if there is thrombus in the brachiocephalic vein or proximal subclavian vein. So an atrial kick is always a good sign. This is a demonstration of phasic flow, although it's slightly weak in the right axillary vein. Another demonstration showing more respiratory phasicity in this vein. This demonstrates that the, ax the axillary vein fills uh, with color from wall to wall. The veins will be anterior to arteries in this portion of the body. This is a transverse image of the uh, proximal right arm and we can see an artery in two veins and with compression the, ar the veins compress uh, demonstrating the absence of DVT. This is the uh, right arm in uh, the area of the brachial vein and the pick line can be seen within this vein. Compression does not fully compress the brachial vein. This is likely due to the presence of the pick line and possible mild inflammation of the uh, wall of the vein uh, in the area surrounding the pick line. This is another image of the brachial veins uh, with the brachial artery in between and uh, compression demonstrates that neither of the uh, brachial veins compresses fully. This indicates the presence of DVT. The area just uh, below the elbow demonstrates that the veins compress fully. In the right forearm, moving down at uh, looking at the uh, the radial vein and artery, we can see total compression of the veins. The ulnar demonstrates the same thing, total compression of these veins uh, with only the artery remaining after compression. Further down the forearm, we have an artery in two veins and compression again compresses both veins. So this patient 
has patent central veins, including the jugular vein, subclavian vein, axillary vein. However, there is thrombus in the brachial veins, and this thrombus is not visualized uh, in the forearm. 